instead of calc gang, or it's we got this statics problem here. So we have this bound, this area, and we're trying to find the moment of inertia around the y-axis. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I have this left over from the last problem, so don't, don't worry about that. And let's see yeah, let's do it. So when we have this integral here, this is the formula we're gonna use. The moment of inertia on the y is equal to the integral over the area of x squared. So what we need to do is figure out what dA is, and then we need to rearrange this equation. So dA, generally in calculus, dA is either equal to x dy or y dx. In this case, we're gonna do x dy, right? We want x dy because, actually, we know we don't want x dy. We want y dx. Why do we want y dx? Well, we have this x squared here. Now, if we do y dx, it's gonna be a little simpler because uh, it's just gonna work out. Usually, it's how it works out. Uh, so we have y dx here. So let's figure out what each one of these are. So y is obviously the distance from here to wherever we are on our line, which is defined uh, very simply by this y is equal to this equation here. So we already have y. y is equal to this. And then dx is how far up we go. So dx is gonna go from you know wherever are we start around to wherever we end around. So let's re-plug in this equation. So it's gonna be x squared, and then dA is gonna become y dx. And then dx goes from negative 20 to 20, right? This intercept here is 20, and this intercept is negative 20, so dx is gonna go from negative 20 to 20. That's our bounds. So now we have this integral, but we have a y in our integral with the dx's. So we need to get rid of that y. And like I said, we're gonna get rid of that y by just putting it in here, because this y is in terms of x. So we can just put that right in, negative 20 to 20, x squared. Then it's gonna be 1 fifth, 400 minus x squared, dx. So there we go, pretty simple. So now we just need to simplify this. So let's bring out the 1 fifth. So 1 fifth, uh, negative 20 to 20. So this x squared is gonna become 400 x squared, and then this is gonna be minus x to the fourth. All of this times dx. This marker, I have, I have five markers and they're all dead, so I can't really do much about it. But I'm gonna use blue now. Nice, so we have this here, and let's just go ahead and integrate this. So this is pretty simple to integrate. So the 1 fifth stays out front. So this 400 becomes 400 over three x to the third, and then this becomes one over five x to the fifth, and its bounds are from negative 20 to 20. So simply all you're gonna do is plug in, uh, hopefully we know how to do this at this point, so that's one over five, so it's gonna be 400 over three, so it's gonna be 20 minus negative 20. All right, let's, let's not do it like that. So it's going to be, you know, 20 to the third minus one fifth, 20 to the fifth, and then uh, the same on the inside, it's going to be minus 400 over three, uh, so negative 20 to the third minus one fifth, negative 20 to the fifth. Uh, that's on the inside there, so make sure you keep that, and make sure I plug this in right. All right, typed it out right, did do it right. So then if you do this, just plug this into your calculator, I have y is equal to 171. I did that wrong, 171 times 10 to the third millimeters to the fourth. And there you go, so that's the answer to the problem. So yeah, not too tricky. If you wanna see how this is integrated around the x-axis, uh, check out my other video, and I'll see you in the next one, peace.